McDonald's is the greatest thing known to man. This is my history of, well, it's, it's going to be a quick history because I can't remember everything. I'm sure I'll forget some stuff and I'll remember it later. But this is my uh, rundown of remembering McDonald's. Basically, the first kind of memory I have of McDonald's was in Sarnia, of course. Uh, it was like uh, a McDonald's in the parking lot of where the, it might not even, I think it's a Winners now, it was a Zares after I moved out of Sarnia. It was something else. It was a big grocery store, but it was in that parking lot. I remember getting the Super Mario 3 uh, Happy Meal toys with the, with the, uh, uh, like Mario had the, uh, the suction cup. It was like a suction cup at the bottom. It was the Raccoon Mario. It was the suction cup at the bottom of him. And then there was a spring. And then the suction cup at the bottom of the spring. So two suction cups with a spring. And then eventually it would come loose. And then he would do a little jump and kind of bounce around. Uh, I think that's the one I got. There was also a Koopa Troopa one. I think I also had that one. It, it was one of those... Oh no, the Luigi one was the one I'm thinking of. But the Koopa Trooper had like a pump or something. I don't remember exactly what it did. Uh, the Luigi one was on a cloud. And it was one of those, you know, like uh, the one, the like kind of like the Hot Wheel cars where you like roll it back and then it drives or whatever. Like it charges it up kind of. Like a guy on move, you got to hold that shit back for two seconds. Uh, apparently though, uh, before I could even remember... Like, uh, when I was really young, I don't remember this at all, but apparently when I used to see the, I'm sure fucking tons of kids did this, when they saw the M, they'd be like, oh shit, and I, I'd go, mm, 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 just for the M, man, that fucking M, it's always been a part of my life. Uh, and I remember at the parking lot, uh, for those of you who are watching this, some of you know that I love the... Maybe it's not classic, but it's classic in my mind. The the brown roof with the fry, the like the fry uh, lights, the brown roof. Fucking love that shit. The one that was like like that, and then it goes like that, and then it goes like that. Kind of like the Pizza Hut, hut, <laughs> the Pizza Hut hut. Uh, yeah, uh, the one in the Zara's parking lot or whatever it was had like these tables where the. I think they had this at Burger King too, the one close to Russell Heights. I remember the tabletops, the design on the tabletops was like multicolored dots. And I don't mean like big, obvious multicolored dots. I mean like, uh, like it's like sand almost, like little tiny dots, but it's like little sprinkles of multicolored dots. You can't even like really see it. You can't even really see that it's multicolored unless you're like a child and you're fucking looking. Uh, so that's kind of the Sarnia experience. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, oh man, the the McDonald's at Rito Center I fucking love. The McDonald's, God, it's fucking so cool, the McDonald's. I, I, I mentioned this in the Rito Center video. Like, it's, it's different from the one that's there now. But the one in the 90s, maybe it was there in the 80s. Uh, like, that fucking, the ice cream stand like right outside like way past where the caches are but like if there's just like a small ice cream stand for the summer seasons uh and uh oh, it was just so cool like that little pathway and then you go down and then like the bottom floor was where the caches were and like there's the middle floor, and then there's the bottom floor where the caches are, but then there was like another level where there was like extra seating on top. And I remember going there like 1993 or 94, Canada Day. How fucking packed that shit was, man. Oh man, fucking great memories. Uh, but the one, the McDonald's I remember the most, and that it's different now, of course, because they, like the roof that I mentioned, uh, it's changed because of all the uh, the introduction of the uh, McCafe stuff. Uh, the one I remember the most that had the classic roof that I love and all that 
was the one that was near Russell Heights. And the one near Russell Heights uh, was like... I don't know, like, uh, in conjunction or in cooperation with the museum that was very close by, uh, the Science and Technology Museum, the National Science and Technology Museum. So it had, like, stuff that you wouldn't find at other McDonald's. For example, uh, you'd come in from the door. These are the caches, the door on the right. Uh, you'd come in and then, like, right about, like, near the caches, in between like an arch, not an archway, but like a arch kind of way. <laughs> it's not on top, but it's there. Uh, on the side here, like these are the seatings in the back. There is like this in, encased in glass. It's like one of those uh, train lights, you know. Uh, like I think this one was like, it had like a blue light. And it had like... A placard with like like history of like train stuff. I I never read it because this was I was a kid. I didn't give a fuck. I just looked at the train light thing. Like uh, I didn't want to fucking read that bullshit. So they had that, and I think they had like some other stuff on the other side. Uh, I'm not too sure, but like there was something to do with how. It was connected with the Science and Technology Museum. Because in the Science and Technology Museum, there's like three trains that you could go in. I remember that. And there's also the train that's outside. If you've ever been to Science and Technology Museum, it has the uh, it has the train that's outside. It has the lighthouse in the big fields. It has the big satellite dish in the big fields. It has the rocket in the fields. It has the oil pump in the fields. And there is also like one of those like farm windmill type things. I think that's it, but uh, an even cooler thing about this McDonald's was, this is also probably in conjunction with the museum, uh, there's the caches, there's the space before the caches, there's like a, a counter thing, there's the thing, the uh, light, and then you go back and there's some seating, and I remember like the seating was kind of like cool places like I don't know how to describe this very well because I'm not describing anything very well because it's all in my mind and I'm like, I hope everyone can get it, but nobody can unless they've been there. Uh, like, cool kind of hidden seating and there's kind of like walls like hiding stuff. And then there was like a middle room which was like good seating and then there was like a back room that was even like there's sort of a wall and then there's two entrance ways on the side, sort of like how you come in. So there's a wall, there's two entrance ways, and then there's an additional seating area. In this additional seating area, where now uh, half of the play structure is on the one on saint laurent Boulevard, half the play structure and half other seating, there was a closed off kind of eating space in there. What was in there, not only was it an eating space, but because it was sort of like a separate room, not really, but I mean, there were two quasi entranceways. It had its own kind of like roof and around the thing, there was a fucking like toy, a model train, like going around the whole like part of that living or the eating area, the whole thing. So you'd like sit there and just fucking watch this model train go by and you're a kid and you're like, <laughs> You're eating your your whatever, your Big Mac, and you're like, holy fuck, man, this is the life. I fucking love this. I'm going to go home after eating this Big Mac or whatever and watching this train and watch them, like, reboot on YTV or something and, like, watch The Zone fucking be in touch with PJ Phil and <laughs> shit like that. Uh, yeah. So that was like amazing. I remember one time the Marie Curie crew, crew, crew <laughs> the Marie Curie crew, we went to, uh, we went to, uh, that McDonald's for some reason. I don't know why we were going, we went to a park, we walked through the park and I remember the supply teacher was there, not the supply teacher, but the, a guy who was doing a stage with our teacher. And we went with him and the teacher and all of us in grade 6 went to the park. I don't think we stopped very long in the park. And then we walked to McDonald's for some reason. 
And then we ate there, man, and whatever. Like, I won't even tell the stuff about the Stegia. There's some cool stuff with that guy. Fuck, man, he ruled, too. But that was, like, a great moment, too. Like, just experiencing, like, the whole class being together at the McDonald's. <laughs> I remember I had a Big Mac. Because at the time, when you're a kid, you're like, normally you get the Happy Meals. I mean, the Happy Meals were kind of shit anyways. Like, you knew they were shit, but you just wanted the toy. But, like, I remember having a Big Mac. It's like, oh, shit, can you finish that? And everybody could anyways. But, I mean, it was like, you know, it was kind of like the adult burger before the Arch Deluxe came. Uh, and, uh, yeah, for some reason we all went there and I remember having a Big Mac. It was fucking great. I loved my life back then. Russell Heights. Uh, other stuff at that, this McDonald's was like basically where I fucking grew my, like I won't even fucking talk about the rest of the shit at McDonald's, I go there all the time, like whatever, 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 whatever get some fucking quarter pounders, some Big Macs, all that shit, but a lot of my like, like, I love you McDonald's remembering experiences were from this McDonald's with the fucking amazing ass train, for example, I was living at Russell Heights when the, uh, Tastes of the Month came out. I don't remember any of the Tastes of the Months. But I remember like two or three of them. One of them being the Superhero Burger. You can see commercials of it on YouTube. It was for Batman Forever. Uh, it was like a fucking... Like, you know the chicken sandwich for the... At uh, Burger King? Uh, that has like... It's not like a, a round bun like the McChicken. It's like a long submarine... But it's not really that long. But it was like that. It was like that submarine, like, long horizontal bun or whatever. It was three patties, like, stacked up on top of each other. And I believe three types of cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, and mayo or whatever. But, oh, fuck, this was great. And it was, like, 95. It was, like... Like, I know Batman Forever is shit or whatever. I mean, it's not that bad compared to Batman and Robin, which I haven't actually fully seen. But, like, when you're a kid, you don't give a fuck. You know, you're not like, oh, this is a piece of shit. So it was, like, around that time. And I remember because I love green. Like, Batman and Robin, because the Riddler was there, had a lot of green. And there was this burger that came out. No, not Batman, Batman Forever. Like, this burger came out, and I was, I was in love with McDonald's. Taste of the month. That was a great taste of the month. Another one I remember was the one for February. Maybe it was just a year-long thing. And I, I think it may have only been in Canada because in my research online, I can't find any information about it other than it being in Canada. Uh, so maybe it was just one year. But I remember the one for February very clearly. I think it was February. I guess I don't fucking remember it very clearly. But it was the Olympics. I forget which one, maybe... Couldn't have been Nagano uh, before that. It was the Winter Olympics. Maybe it wasn't the Winter. I don't know. Fuck, I don't even know. I'm talking like I know, but I don't know. Uh, it was the Winter Olympics. We'll just say that. And the commercial was for Elvis Stoiko. And the motherfucker did like one of those spin things. Like figure skating things. And then like it transformed into like a picture of the McDonald's curly fly. The curly fry? Like the fucking... The spicy curly fry? Maybe I'm mixing this up with McCain or something because I think Elvis Stoiko also did commercials for McCain. But I fucking remember for sure McDonald's had a curly fry for February. Maybe it wasn't Elvis Stoiko. Maybe that's just the McCain thing. He also did like juice commercials or whatever. <laughs> uh, another taste of the month I remember was like kind of lamer stuff was just like a burger same typical burger bacon maybe but it had like different sauces you see this like uh you see these kind of things like limited time offer mcdonald's things very often normally but this was part of the taste of the month it was like a california burger and it had like a uh not like a zesty but sort of like a sweet mayo sauce or whatever maybe like mixed with dijon mustard or I don't know. But it was like a California burger. I don't really remember the others. If you guys... If anyone remembers the others, please help me find them. Uh, 
So Taste of the Month was like a great fucking experience for me. I mean, this is fucking pathetic, but I love it. Why am I even making a video of this? Who cares? Uh, another thing that is held very dearly to many people's hearts that is gone, apparently, except for in some locations. At this McDonald's with the train, I experienced the McDonald's pizza for the first time. Fucking right, man. Holy shit. Oh. I had it only like once or twice. Because I didn't like it that much, but it's more like... Well, I did like it, but it was like I'd rather have a Big Mac or whatever. It did take a while. I remember that. Uh, there's two forms of the pizza. There's the personal pizza that you'd get, or there was apparently a pizza that they'd bring to your table. I kind of don't really remember them bringing it to your table, but whatever. I remember the personal pizza. It did take a while to make. Like I said, like it's kind of weird. It's like it was they had these special ovens to make it, but it still took a while because I remember it took a pretty long time the first time I got it. Uh, I probably just got like pepperoni the first time and like a deluxe the second time. Maybe I had it more than twice, but I only really remember it twice. Uh, but I remember there also being kind of like the corn, I don't know what you call it, like cornmeal dough or whatever. It's sort of like the chicka chick chews in Domino's Pizza. Like the fucking shit that falls off the crust at the bottom. It had a lot of that. Uh, so the pizza was a great experience. Another thing that... <laughs> these are great experiences. Another thing that I remember from that McDonald's. Oh man. Was the Arch Deluxe. Like, the biggest failure in uh, McDonald's history, commercial failure, because of the advertising campaign geared towards adults, uh, having Ronald McDonald do adult activities, like golfing, that's an adult activity, and other stuff. Uh, I remember there was, like, you could see some of these on YouTube, like, uh, the chef commercials, about, like, the specialty chef that they got for the McDonald's Arch Deluxe preparation or whatever to design it. Uh, it was fucking, it was, okay, I don't know why it failed. I don't know why it failed. It failed because of the marketing campaign and because it wasn't that spectacular. But they, they hyped it up and that's why it failed. But the thing was fucking good, man. It was amazing. It was fantastic. It was like a bun. You had like a nice... I don't eat tomato. I usually took that shit off anyways. I always take that shit off. But I had a nice slice of tomato. Uh, not like iceberg lettuce. I believe there was like a nice like uh, romaine lettuce or something. It had like a special like... Mustardy, mayo-y sauce. Maybe that's the fucking California burger thing again. Uh... uh it also had onions, I believe. A nice seasoned patty with pepper. Uh, and like the coolest thing in ketchup or whatever. But the coolest thing was like the bacon was like, a, it was also like a peppered bacon too. I remember that. The bacon was like round. Like the bacon was like, it fit like a fucking... Uh, it fit like the patty, or like the bun, like it was circular. I don't know how they did that, but it was fucking cool. Well, I mean, of course there's ways of doing that, but it was cool. So I experienced that there at that McDonald's, and fucking, I love it, man. Like, those were great times. So, what I'm saying is McDonald's is amazing. I know it's cool to hate on McDonald's, but there's a lot of pretentiousness in that. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking love it, man, because it rules. Like, I mean, I know if you actually do hate it, whatever, that's cool. But, you know, if you're just, like, pretending to hate it, and deep down inside you're like, I love that fucking train at McDonald's, man. Just love it because you love it. And if you don't want to eat it, whatever. But don't pretend like you hate it. Whatever. Yeah, so, like, if anyone other than the people I know sees this video, post, like, your fucking, like, McDonald's memories and all that bullshit. Uh, I can't really think of anything else of that McDonald's. I'm sure there's a whole bunch. I mean, all the regular items, like the fucking 
the god of all gods, the Big Mac, uh, the quarter pounder, the fucking chicken nuggets, McChicken, flail fish, even had the flail fish. Uh, yeah, all that shit. Fucking great times, man. I remember also like uh, the uh, Michael Jordan commercial, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, like having the dunk. Or no, the three-point shot competition, because it was like the, not the quarter pounder, but like the double cheese, no, the like bacon cheeseburger, or the double cheeseburger or something. Oh, that's another thing that they got rid of McDonald's, the double bacon cheeseburger. I mean, I know they have the McDonald's and all that, and they have the, the value menu with the, the bacon cheeseburger, and then they have the McDouble, and then they have the uh, double cheeseburger, but they used to have the Mc, the double bacon cheeseburger and I used to get that a lot man that was a fucking great burger it had good commercials too but that three dollars three 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 I think it was for like the it was like a cheeseburger I don't know if it had bacon on it but it was the Larry Bird Michael Jordan dunk competition they dunk from the three-point line then at the back of the court and then from the stands and then like from the street and then at the you know it goes it cuts to the uh those fucking, like, that typical, like, 90s shot of the close-up. The extra value meal close-ups is what I'll call it. The close-up of, like, the burger kind of, like, spinning. And then the fries, the close-up on the fries. And then the close-up of the, uh, the Coke carton thing. Like, sweating with its, like, uh, hot, well, coolness, but in the hot... <laughs> So it's sweating or whatever, or in the normal room temperature, whatever, it's not hot. But yeah, like it had that cut, all the, in the 90s they were all kind of like that, like that, the close up, with the spin, <laughs> with the spin, and it had like a certain, like there was dark in the background, it had like a certain look to it for the extra value meal commercials. Uh, and then like, after it cuts to that, it cuts to like, maybe I'm getting it wrong, but it cuts to... Uh, Larry Bird and Michael Jordan on top of like a skyscraper and it's like oh who's next or you next or whatever something like that uh, there's also like this the McRib commercial with the guy with the leather jacket they're like oh it's like sizzling or something or fucking maybe that's not even what I'm thinking of but whatever uh, so yeah sorry if I upset anybody about this but whatever peace and love I love McDonald's it's my own personal choice, whatever. That's it. I think that's all I'm going to say about the video. I'll probably think of some more stuff. Uh, you know, there's other stuff that's not really related to that specific McDonald's. And I'm pretty sure I'll think of other stuff that's related to that specific McDonald's. And before I leave, uh, shout-outs to uh, Note Chaka Chakashna himself. Uh, if anybody find... Okay... This guy is talking about a specific McDonald's commercial that none of us can find on YouTube. And he knows it exists. His memory is very clear. He says he found it when Coneheads in 1994, I believe, played on TV. So it's on one of his VHS tapes with Conehead. One of the commercials is like the Quarter Pounder. Everybody's coming out for it, and I think like it starts with people in the urban land. Everybody's coming out for the quarter pounder. They're coming out from work or whatever. But he says this guy that I know says that uh, the one part of the commercial it's like everybody's coming out, and then it's like guys that are rowing in the Amazon, and they're coming out to get the quarter pounder. You know, which is ironic because the abuse that fucking McDonald's does in the Amazon. But whatever. Uh, yeah, so if anyone could find that fucking video, please, like, upload it to YouTube because this guy and me have been looking for this video for so long. This one commercial, 94, 95 around, it played during a Coneheads commercial. I mean, I know that's kind of specific to his case or whatever, but uh, if you have this commercial, please upload it. That is the end of my McDonald memories for now. Uh, thank you. If I ever go to Japan, though, <laughs> I'm telling you.
they have some fucking great McDonald's items that I will certainly be doing reviews of. But that's it for now. So, uh, yeah. Peace to the God.